Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Monday, August 21st, 2017 and in is this Tech News Update we will have the Intel 8th generation Coffee Lake slash Canon Lake CPUs have been kind of unveiled. Now Intel claims 40% gain in performance. Of course, every time there are new CPUs they always boost these numbers that are sometimes we wonder how exactly they have been um, you know done in all the tests to get that kind of gain uh, but it's going to be interesting to see the real world performance as many many uh, you know tech uh, websites actually experiment with these new CPUs and uh, see what the real world performance is and I think it's important for Intel to really make it um, interesting because of AMD's a sudden rise to glory with its uh, AMD Ryzen and Threadripper CPUs. Well, Bing, according to Microsoft, has 33% of market share in the United States. Now, that's interesting. It's a uh, pretty huge market share if you think about it. Now, Bing has been making money for the past few uh, months and it is, of course, rising and rising. So this means in the United States there is kind of a war, if you want, between Google and Bing for search. But around the world, how is it? It's 9% only. And pretty much stagnating at 9%. So it's going to be interesting to see if, for every reason, uh, Microsoft can actually increase it worldwide, not just in the US. Microsoft says that it has reached a new milestone in speech recognition with its AI and that its error rate now fell to 5.1% compared to 5.9% in the last tests. 5.1% is apparently about the same level as human errors when we actually listen to speech. So this is very interesting as Microsoft is really, really uh, becoming the leader in speech recognition for um, computers. Well, today is a, of course, solar eclipse and many many people in the United States will be in the path of totality but also if you're outside of the path of totality for a lot of people in North America it is a partial solar eclipse here in Montreal it will be about 60 percent covered at 2 38 p.m. local time but if you're not there or if you can't see it or if you don't have what it takes to see it well NASA will have full coverage starting at noon eastern time and we'll have, of course, a uh, live feed from different spots around the uh, United States. So just head on to the NASA live video and you will actually see all of that happening. Of course, I will also, on my radio, shortwave radio channel, have a live uh, feed today uh, showing the eclipse and also talking about its aspects and how it can actually maybe change radio propagation. Well, it's kind of pretty sure Android will of course uh, be released Android version 8 or Android O. Uh, Google did say that at 2.40 p.m. Eastern Time today there will be an event. They will release apparently today Android, the latest and newest version of Android. And it seems that a little, um, the title of a um, video that they've posted has hinted that Android O will be Oreo. It does seem that that's Probable. So it would guess that uh, Android 8 Oreo. And of course, it's anyone's guess if you have any other phone than the Android, the Google phones, um, when you'll get it on your device. Well, 116 tech experts have signed a declaration that they are sending to the United Nations to say that we should ban killer robots and that it should be in the same category as chemical weapons and the danger that it poses for humanity. And so a lot of experts are saying killer robots should not be built and should not exist. Of course, the military are interested in killer robots because it's better to have a robot down in a war than having human lives. And finally, 40 years ago today, the first of two Voyager spacecrafts were launched, changing the world forever in our knowledge of the solar system. It brought back some amazing pictures, amazing science, and amazing new discoveries. 
and so um, this is something that is absolutely fantastic when you think about everything that was done and even more as these uh, were not actually created to go as far and do as much science that actually they were uh, programmed to do at the end so 40 years ago today kind of a nice um, little you know side to this because 40 years ago of a Voyager spacecrafts and you know a solar eclipse today it's kind of cool so basically this was the tech news update for Monday August the 21st 2017 you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you so much for following us on this channel